Good evening. The Planning and Zoning Commission meeting for Wednesday, February 12th, 2020 is called to order. Mr. Kish is excited, so we'll jump right into the Pledge of Allegiance. Please, by all means. <laughs> I'm like, we're leaving? Let's go. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Madam Secretary, will you please note the roll? Commissioner Ellison is present. Commissioner Kish is present. Commissioner Maloney is present. Commissioner Clymer is present. Chairman Bray is present. Commissioner Steiner is absent. Vice Chairman Barnes is absent. We have a quorum. Thank you, Madam Secretary. And can, uh, at this time, I'll entertain a motion for Commissioner Steiner and Vice Chairman Barnes' excusal from tonight's meeting. So move. Second. Um, it has been um, moved by Commissioner Clymer, seconded uh, by Commissioner Kish to excuse Commissioner uh, Steiner and Vice Chairman Barnes. Is there any discussion? Nope. Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Um, on to agenda item number one is the approval of the draft minutes of the Planning and Zoning Commission meeting held on January 15, 2020. Those were supplied online. Is there a motion? Mr. Chairman, I move that we approve last month's minutes. Second. It has been moved by Commissioner Kish, seconded by Commissioner Ellison, to approve the January 15, 2020 minutes. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, nay. Motion carries. Now is the time for the citizens who would like to address the Planning and Zoning Commission on any non-agenda items. Standing Full house room. tonight. <laughs> Buckle up. We're going to need the three minutes. All right. On to disclosure of ex parte communications. This is an opportunity for commission members to disclose any ex parte communication they may have had prior to this meeting. Any disclosures? Seeing none, moving right along. I will uh, open the uh, public hearing for the Canyon Trails PAD amendment. Um, nope, that one's been canceled. Do I need a motion for that or we're just going to cancel it? Just canceling it. I'll close the public hearing that was not supposed to take place and cancel that. Uh, business item number three. I guess I should read ahead on the script before I... Uh, agenda item number three is the Palm Valley Pavilion East Comprehensive Sign Package, and Christian will present this evening. All right. Good evening, uh, Chairman Bray and uh, Planning and Zoning Commission. I'm here before you this evening with a request from the applicant, Jim Bacher, on behalf of the owner, PMB Palm Valley LLC, to amend the design guidelines and sign package for Palm Valley Pavilions East. The subject property is located in the north area of our city near Litchfield Road and Interstate 10, more specifically the Palm Valley Pavilions East Shopping Center, which includes Target and Chili's. It's located right here on the map. So let's go over a brief history of the center and its design history. The Palm Valley Master Plan Development began its development efforts in October 1989. As part of this initial 1,475-acre um, development, commercial was contemplated near the intersections of Interstate 10, Papago Freeway, and North Litchfield Road. In 1996, to facilitate the development of a quality commercial center, the Palm Valley East development guidelines were approved by City Council with the preliminary plat of this development. In 1998, as the center expanded northward towards McDowell Road and added tenants, council approved an amendment to the Palm Valley Pavilion's sign standards and tenant signage criteria. That was around the October, November timeframe of that year. And this is also the year Palm Valley Cinema began showing films. It subsequently closed in 2006. So now let's go into a little bit more detail on what these sign amendments accomplish. The 1996 guidelines allowed for the construction of wall signs for the overall Palm Valley development that's located at the northeast corner of uh, Litchfield Road and McDowell, as well as two Palm Valley Pavilion wall signs located at uh, Litchfield Road and the Palm Valley Pavilion's main entry driveway. In addition to these three wall signs, a freeway pylon sign was approved, and that is just 
east of Litchfield Road adjacent to Interstate 10. So I have diagrams of those three signs here. The 1998 amendment to the development got, oh, and one last thing, it also approved a 32 foot high monument sign in the median for Palm Valley Pavilion's main driveway. The 1998 amendment to the development guidelines allowed for an additional freeway pylon sign at approximately the 135th Avenue alignment at Interstate 10. It allowed for two 30 foot, or 32 foot tall monument signs, one on West McDowell Road and one on Litchfield Road. And it reduced the height of the previously approved median sign for Palm Valley pavilions from 32 feet down to 15 feet. And that would be allowed to be built in the median of Palm Valley pavilions driveway, but it has not been built at this point. That is uh, this sign right here in the middle. And um, the amendment is to add one more sign to the overall design uh, pack. It also it added those signs and it also added um, provisions for canopies and window signs. In 2019, the former Palm Valley Cinema was redeveloped into the Goodyear Medical Plaza, which is now a multi-tenant office building, primarily catering to medical office users. And since the building consists of multiple tenants, they are requesting an additional monument sign on North Litchfield Road. So that is the sign right here. The map on the right, let's talk a little bit more about, more about where the sign's gonna go. So the map on the right is the existing center. And in the center, we have zoomed into the existing part of the center where the sign will be located in relation to its nearby context. The new sign will be located on the current Chili's Restaurant parcel off of Litchfield Road. It is approximately 150 feet north of the existing 32-foot Palm Valley Pavilion sign. So if you count in palm tree lengths, it's about two palm trees north. <laughs> and uh, the sign will be about 10 feet in height. It will allow for six tenant panels and the design is elegant and modernized while holding true some components of the existing center, such as the tiling and the color scheme and all that stuff. So you've got the new sign, its location in relation to the existing sign, and that's located right next to Chili's. And with that, staff would approve amending the um, Palm Valley Pavilion's development guidelines and comprehensive sign package to allow for a Goodyear Medical Plaza to tenant sign. Are there any questions? Any questions for staff? Commissioner Kish. Will this um, change any other signs or is this simply just to allow a sign in that particular? To allow a sign in that particular area. Perfect, thank you. You're welcome. Commissioner Maloney. Um, now you're saying that the, um, the target sign on the bottom? Yes. That one, yes. that's going away and the new one's coming. No, so the existing target sign is where this blue dot is indicated, the existing 32 foot high sign. The new sign will be located approximately 150 feet north of that sign. So I made a little sketch up here, it'd be approximately here. Okay, and that's to feature the, the medical center. Correct, because okay. it's now a multi-tenant office building. Okay, okay. Any other questions for staff? Hey, John. No. Thank you, Christian, appreciate Thank it. You. Doesn't appear the applicant is here. So I will take a motion. I would like to move that we approve 19 630 0006. Second. It has been moved by Commissioner Clymer, seconded by Commissioner Kish to approve the Palm Valley Pavilion East Comprehensive Sign Package. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, nay. Motion carries. Um, staff communication. Chris. Good, good evening, Mr. Chairman, Commission. Um, as I promised previously, I pulled some data just to give you a summary, if you will, of 2019. Hmm. And I have a document that I'll also send to you all um, tomorrow or the following day that kind of encapsulates what I'm going to say here. And this is just a summary of our most recent current events. Um, and so just to kind of highlight some of the things that we did uh, over the course of the past couple of months, last 12 months. Um, as you know, we met three, 13 times. Uh, we had, so how do we do that and go on break? Well, it's pretty easy, actually. We met twice in June in advance of the city council break in order to have a development applications move forward there. And then we also met twice in September in order to facilitate some applications. So that's how we got to 13 meetings over the last 12 months. 
Um, I pulled some data in, re in terms of the different types of cases that the commission has um, had come before you. There, in 2019, there was 19 rezonings, 18 preliminary plats, seven use permits, two comprehensive sign packages, much like the ones that Christian presented this evening. And then we also had the general plan amendments, which is frankly a little bit unusual. We don't have a whole lot of those, but we, if you remember, we had that um, and we had the offsite meeting at Las Brisas Academy as well. Of those plats, um, I counted them up and actually counted them up. Um, <laughs> And there was, you all um, considered and recommended to council nearly 1,800 or 1,700 lots be created in Goodyear. 1,729 lots during the course of calendar year 2019. Um, of those, 491 of those lots were in Australia. Um, another big area was we had one large development uh, west of. 303, a residential development in north of uh, Indian School. Uh, that was a big project that came through with about 500 lots, too. So um, a, a lot of inventory being created, which is good for our, our home builders. We had a couple of notable cases that you may recall. Again, the general plan amendments related to the MC85 and 303 area. We also had several zoning cases and several plats in the Bullard Avenue area, which you can currently see under construction when you walk out the front door of the facility here. And then also one really important and really timeless and very impactful project that you all um, considered, and we also had a work session with council, if you remember, was Civic Square, and council approved that on July 8th. Uh, we'll put it on a future agenda at some point to get you all up to speed on what's going with that as well. We also uh, delivered training for you in September. I'm sorry I was absent at that particular meeting, but the U, our friends and colleagues at the ULI came and did some training for you, which uh, we hope is useful. And as a matter of fact, this upcoming year, um, the Arizona APA conference, the state conference, is going to be held at the Wigwam, which is, as Katie has informed me, the first time in the West Valley. First time in the Southwest Valley, second time in the West Valley. Yeah, okay. Yep. We'll, we'll just say first time. How about that? <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. um, so that's a great training opportunity uh, coming up in the fall um, after September, October, whenever it is. And uh, we'll be getting you more information about that because if you have an interest, we certainly want to support you to do uh, go there and take advantage of that training. They have planning commissioner tracks, so you can join other planning commissioners from around the state. So it's a great opportunity. Just a couple of other quick things. Um, our number of projects in 2019, uh, we had quite a few and we're on track. I won't get into all the numbers right now. You'll, I'll communicate that to you um, in the document I'll send. Um, but every all of the activity that we're experiencing currently is on track or the same or more than what we experienced in 2019. Um, and then also finally as just a um, additional piece of information in calendar year 2019 the city issued we issued 1435 new single family home permits um, which is uh, which is a very healthy number for us but it's not a scary number because if you look at the trajectory last year was 1435 the year before that was 1187 so right at 1200 so it is growing but it's not this uh, immediate um, really concerning type of linear projection. It's more of a more of a good growth, healthy growth line. So um, we're really excited about the future. We appreciate your um, continued support of staff and also the city. And I uh, will get this out to you in the next day or so. Nice. Are the previous numbers going to be on that? Uh, yes. Awesome. So um, I'll just I can tell you because I have them right here. I just didn't want to bore you to death. But in 2015 was 1,039. 2016 was 994. Wow. 2017 was 1,082. So you can see we're right around that 1,000 mark. Right. Last year was uh, 1,187, 1,200. And then last year was 1,400. So huh. there's a growth there, but it's not, it's not an alarming projection, like I said. Oh. Chris, I have a question. Um, when do they think that they're going to start construction with the new um, city center there? 
Um, so if, if I can defer that, because it's not an agenda item, and what I'd like to do if I can is we can put that on a future council or commission. Okay. Uh, I was just and, curious. Yeah, there's a, there is a timeline. Uh -huh. um, there are some significant milestones that have to be hit. So what I'd like to do is share all of that information with you at one time so you can have a global perspective. Okay. So if we don't have too long of an agenda next month, we'll put that on there. Okay, great. That, that, that's Thanks. okay. Thank you, Mr. Any Thank you, Mr. Chairman. questions for staff? Anything from Katie? All right. The next Planning and Zoning Commission meeting will be held on March 11, 2020 at 6 p.m. at the Goodyear Municipal Court and Council Chambers. There being no further business to discuss, this meeting is adjourned.